So the name of this blog is Who Will Plant the Tree? I'm looking at a few possibilities for who could do that. I mean, that would probably happen. It would probably be the government's, but we'll know. We'll see what happens. Such a weird problem. I mean, everybody's working towards zero. And I, I talked about that last week. Apart from me, I go up by like four a year. And the first step is to bring that down to zero. But the second step is who will plant the trees. And we'll look at that. I mean, the first thing we should look at again is why do we need trees? I mean, that's still a topic of hot debate. I found a blog where, where I'm on the SIF board where people were talking about grasslands versus trees. And they were saying grasslands were good for fixing carbon. I mean, I know buckwheat is a good carbon fixer. And Organic garters use a lot to bring carbon to the soil, but the, the, if we look back to my blog, like 30, 40, 50, I don't know what number it is, it's called Not Annuals Trees, because I was pretty, you know, in favor of having a lot of plants to fix the carbon. But no, trees, like woody plants, fix carbon a lot better. You know, wood is basically a storage mechanism for carbon. And that thing. We'll test the plant trees. I mean, Tessa may be a, like a really huge company. I mean, they're small potatoes now, but in the future, like no one's really able to compete with them. It's really judgy about who's going to find a way to make like cars as good as them, but then they're going to be super, super rich. So maybe they could pay for the trees. I mean, all all the things I've been looking at were this and in, you know, Saudi Arabia or, or the Sahara and Australia are back, but maybe not maybe it's more of a you know, farming fields in America if they could be planted with trees it would just be a crop and I wonder if trees should be buried in the ground that's an interesting thing like once the wood is pulled up is it good to sequester the carbon? Or maybe desperate houses out of it? Will Apple plant the trees? I mean, we're talking about a company that has a trillion dollar market cap right now. I mean, they're super, super rich. And they could probably afford to do it. But, I mean, they we're talking about people with very clean females. Like clean room type people. They may not be interested in getting their hands dirty. But, uh, 
They would at least understand why we need carb fixing and and they these have the energy to do it. Maybe they're they're the people who do it. Well the army planted the trees. I mean global warming is a defense issue that's up for debate. I think it probably is but defending natural systems is really quite important. It's probably the biggest defense we need. But that's up for a debate too. But we we need the aggression that's in the army. Because I think we need to double the amount of trees on the planet or something like that. It's like a lot of carbon needs to be fixed. And, you know, rising sea levels and displaced population is a good way to bring on war. And preventing that is kind of the army job. I mean, in the end, it'll probably be the governments. But it's kind of a weird problem because there's such a huge group that is interested in denying the problem. I mean, Paul Beckwith and people say this summer even will have blue water then with no ice in the Arctic, which could lead to large methane, you know, methane cloud coming up, bubbles, and serious problems. But other people want to deny it. So we got one group who's saying we're very near total cataclysm. Another group who says nothing's happening. We'll see what happens. I mean, trees are nice, that thing. It's not that hard to get political will going in the favor of them because they're good.